Hey everyone, if you've had problems with depression from alcohol, this video is for you, okay? This video is for you, it really is. Because you know something? I've had problems with alcohol causing depression, big problems. First of all, I wanna start off by saying, everybody who drinks has a small amount of depression the next day. They really do, everybody does. Alcohol itself is a depressant. It can cause people to be depressed, okay? So if you're waking up in the morning and you're just an average drinker and you're feeling depressed or gloomy about your day, it's probably a direct result from drinking alcohol. It probably just is a direct result how it affects our brain. But the problem with alcohol when it comes to alcoholics, we get the same relief that somebody who drinks alcohol you know, once a month or once every six months, we get that same sort of feeling, that feeling of no stress, world is great, life is great, you know, the wife is off my case, I feel no stress. We get that same feeling that the average person gets from alcohol. But the problem when it comes to depression in an alcoholic is heightened a lot. And the reason it is heightened a lot is very simplistic. It's very, very simplistic. A, alcohol is a depressant. But for the alcoholic to get more of that feeling of relief, that feeling that life is good, that feeling that stress is okay, I can get through the day just with a drink, the more we, we, we race for that feeling, the more we want that feeling, the endorphins release, the more all that kind of good stuff that comes from the alcohol, supposed to be good stuff that comes from the alcohol, we need to consume more alcohol. And that's basically puts us on a, a rare, uh, like, like a disaster road, right? It makes us want to drink more for the feeling of relief, but the stuff that we're drinking is killing us for the relief that we're looking for. Sounds weird, eh? But it is that. It's the vicious circle of alcoholism. It's a part of it. It's a part of it. So the more we drink daily, I don't know about you, but I drank every day. I didn't really feel that depressed in the morning because I'd have a drink and the booze would uplift me again it would uplift me so I, I didn't have really strong bouts of depression that much I really did when I was binging every day on booze I really didn't I got large bouts of depression when I stopped alcohol when I stopped it and the basic reason is a like I said before alcohol is a depressant it will cause us to get depressed and alcoholics drink a large amount of alcohol so what happens we have a large amount of depression happening to us and it's just that's just the way it is it's the chemical reaction to alcohol how it affects us we alcohol it. itself does so much damage to the body and it affects our brain if you drink too much alcohol you can get dementia or wet brain they call it okay so don't think alcohol is not affecting you when it comes to you mentally. So what happens to us and to me is that our brains, the, the nervous system in our brains, the neural system in our brains, I don't know exactly what it is, but it's the neural system in our brain is much slower to get better or respond or revert itself back. So when we quit alcohol and the first week or two you feel depressed, well, it's pretty normal. It's pretty normal. But if you're feeling really depressed, go and see a doctor. Don't take anything from me. I'm just Terry G on Alcohol Free Life ex explaining my experience. So what happens when you quit alcohol, you're going to feel a big dip in your moods, a big dip in your perception of life. Life will be terrible. Life will feel like people are ganging up on you. You feel hopeless. You feel tired. You feel sluggish. You want to stay in bed. All those sorts of things. And that's a direct result from drinking too much beer or too much alcohol. Whatever you drink, it's a direct result from that. I drank beer. That's why I said that. And it affects our brain. But the good part about it is, is that over time, for me, it took about two or three weeks. Over time, we will feel less depressed. We really will. We'll feel less depressed because we're not drinking the alcohol. We're not adding to the problem anymore. And our body is repairing itself. And if you're feeling that, don't worry, it will go away. But if it doesn't go away, by all means, go and talk to your doctor. Go and talk to them. Some things that can help you with the depression is going to an AA meeting. Get out there, go to an AA meeting. You don't have to say too much. Just sit there, relax, have a coffee, and you know, just get over it. Talk to people about it, how you feel, because guaranteed they're gonna relate to you. Go into, going for walks. If you have a dog or you can go walk around the block, get some sun, 
That will help you with depression. Exercise will help you with depression. Eating properly, get off the caffeine, just eat properly, drink healthy drinks, orange juice, stuff like that that's help you. Gatorade with electrolytes help you build up your body quicker. Eat, sleep, do all those things. Make sure you get have a shower each day, dress, get up, maybe watch your favorite TV show, those kind of things. But just to understand that that depression should go away. It really should. And you should be feeling better within, I would say, at least a month. Myself, it was about two and a half weeks to three weeks. I started to really feel better about life. You know, I, the, the, the drinking was kind of behind me a little bit and life started to get better. But this depression, this gray cloud lifted. A lot of people who come into alcohol, nominas, or go to recovery groups feel depressed and they think they have a depression issue. And I'm not here to tell you you don't have a depression issue. I'm just here to tell you that if you feel depressed when you quit alcohol, there's a big reason for that because alcohol has screwed up your 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 mind, your 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 brain, your neural system in your brain and it will repair itself. And alcohol itself is a depressant and for alcoholics, we drink a pile of it. Some of us may not even come back from it. Some of us might remain depressed. We might, but that's for a doctor or a psychiatrist to, to investigate, to make sure that you're okay, okay? So if you're feeling down or feeling sad, it's, it's pretty normal, it's pretty normal. But if it's long-term, if it goes for more than a couple of weeks, I would go and see your doctor and get checked out. I'd go and see your doctor anyways after you quit drinking. I really would. Get a complete physical from your toes to the top of your head to make sure you're okay. I really would, okay? So that's it, folks. That's it for this video. I just want to say thank you very much for stopping by to an alcohol-free life. If you can subscribe to my channel, I'd really appreciate it. If you can hit that like button, I'd appreciate it too, okay? If you have any topics you want me to talk about uh, that involves drinking, of course, leave it in the comments below, okay? But just remember, we do terrible, terrible things to our body when we drink alcohol, affects every part of our body from your blood cells to your vision to your hearing to your mind everywhere to your lungs to your heart everything not excluding your liver believe me it really does a number on your liver <laughs> i tell you it does so if you can quit drinking you will have a happy and full life just like me believe it or not okay my name is terry g thanks a lot for stopping by and i'm outside today in the sort of sun or the cottage is kind of full of people so i need a little privacy to do these videos so i'm out here doing this today outside a little bit but it's a beautiful day thanks for stopping by ciao for now i'll see you next time oh by the way don't drink and go to meetings ciao